Demetra Alarcon's dad was surprised to receive a call from his daughter's school. He actually stood in silence when he realized that he's talking with the principal of his daughter's school. The principal explained the purpose of his call, and he couldn't believe it. The reason behind this call left him speechless. He simply couldn't believe his ears. But at that moment, he knew that he had to do something about it. Read on to discover who Demetra's father is and how he reacted. Tony Alarcon started the day like any other. He got up, had breakfast, dropped his daughter to school, kissed her, and went to work. So nothing unusual about that hot day except that the summer was really kicking in, and it was 90 degrees when it was time to drop his daughter off. Since it was really hot, Tony's daughter Demetra chose to wear an outfit for the hot weather. Since Raymond J. Fisher, the middle school, had no uniform requirements, students were allowed to wear everyday clothes to school. But there are some rules on what's allowed and what's not. During the work hours, Tony Alarcon is a successful real estate agent and investment banker. In his free time, Tony is a proactive dad, always ready to fight injustice, especially when it comes to protecting his beloved daughter, Demetra. That questionable day, Demetra felt as if her world started smashing. Moreover, she felt so ashamed for being singled out in class. The truth is that she wasn't the first girl to be put in front of the class, but it didn't make it any less scary. She couldn't understand what the buzz was about. That day, Demetra chose to wear a blue romper because she couldn't fight the hot weather otherwise. At the time, she had no idea that a simple outfit will make such a fuss. As far as she was concerned, her outfit was fine. She also knew that if it was inappropriate, her dad would say so. According to many, school dress codes went too far. It's not strange for girls to get into trouble for not wearing something or for wearing too much. Often students miss their lessons. Why? To have their hemlines measured. Did Demetra go through the same practice? That day, Demetra wanted to wear something that would keep her cool and comfortable during the hot day in California. She never expected that her outfit would result in a battle between the school and her father. Demetra's choice of outfit became a hot topic, and when the media kicked in, Demetra became a national sensation. Demetra's teacher in her first period pointed out that her outfit is not appropriate, so he told her to go to the principal's office. After seeing Demetra, the principal picked up the phone and called her dad. If he missed this call, it would save him a lot of trouble. The principal put an ultimatum to Demetra's dad. Either he brings her new outfit or he comes to pick her up and take her home. Tony couldn't believe what he was hearing, but for the greater good, he told the principal that he will bring her a more appropriate outfit. What he picked shocked the school even more. Tony went through Demetra's drawers and found what he believed was appropriate, a pair of denim shorts and a plain tank top. He went to school, and as soon as Demetra changed, she went to the principal's office. The principal said that it was still inappropriate. At this moment, Tony knew that the battle was on. Tony just couldn't get his grip around this situation, so he asked the administration to explain to him what was wrong with this outfit. He even made Demetra bend down so they could prove to them that everything was covered. He knew that he needed to get to the bottom of this. He just knew that there is much more to this situation that they are not telling him. Actually, Tony had some suspicions, but he really hoped that they're not the reason why they singled Demetra out, but his fears came true. Admission told Tony that the problem was the length of the shorts and romper. However, he knew there was more. But they insisted on their fingertips test. The pupil must place her arms on her sides firmly, and if her pants are above the fingertips, then it's too short. Demetra did it, and hers was just barely above. Tony was not going to accept this. So when Tony confronted the administration about fingertip tests, they told him that the real reason Demetra was singled out wasn't due to her outfit, but because of the boys in her class. Tony couldn't believe his ears. Demetra was seen as a distraction for boys in the class. Say that again? Tony couldn't believe his ears. Now, once he knew why Demetra was singled out, he was ready to fight. As Demetra stood next to him crying, he knew that this was something that he can't easily let go. The battle was on. There was one last ultimatum in front of Tony and Demetra. She either covers her legs with leggings or she can go home. Demetra pointed out that there is a no hats in class rule but they wear them and nothing is done about it. Tony saw this as unfair discrimination. Even Tony noticed in the parking lot that numerous pupils don't follow the school's rules. So why should girls suffer during the hot summer days? According to school, Demetra and other girls had to suffer because of boys. So Tony decided to test his theory and ask Demetra's friends what they think about the dress code rules, and they had a lot to say. Demetra's friends agreed that rules are discriminatory and make them suffer during the warm days. After talking with them, Tony was sure that this is a long-lasting problem and something had to be done. Therefore, the next step was calling the media representatives for a long talk. 
He wanted the world to know that his daughter and her friends are humiliated. In no time, he was the biggest news on Today and other local channels. When the media asked Tony what could be a solution to the current dress code situation, he said that it should be up to parents. They should know what is appropriate for the child to wear or not. He also proposed that some changes can be made. He had no idea that it's just scratching the bigger issues. People mostly supported Tony in his quest to protect girls and changing dress code rules. On the other hand, many believe that if kids were allowed to wear whatever they want to, it would create chaos in the school system. Demetra's case was not isolated. A girl named Claire went through a similar situation. She was heading on prom night together with her boyfriend, and she was almost expelled because her skirt was just on top of her fingertips. Then she had a real shock. When it was time to dance, Claire noticed the number of chaperones was unusually high. Moreover, it was awkward seeing so many dads gawking down at the girls from the balcony. Naturally, girls felt uncomfortable. Once the dance started, Claire was again singled out. As she learned, she had to be removed from the dance floor. The reason was shocking. Claire was informed that some dad chaperone was complaining that she was dancing too provocatively. Therefore, that would cause the boys to have corrupt thoughts. Also, chaperones thought that her outfit says she was asking for it. She couldn't believe what she was hearing. After all, she couldn't control the thoughts or actions of the male students or any person. At this moment, Claire and her friends were so tired of being responsible for other people's actions and thoughts, so they decided to take a stand. They said that if the school forbids Claire to stay at the prom, they will leave the party and ask for a refund. This move would destroy the school's budget. Claire and everyone who supported her had to leave the prom. She couldn't believe it. She waited for this day for years, and now she was being escorted as a criminal. Claire was also the only one who got her prom night money back. She felt cheated, disappointed, and angry. So she decided to share her story with the world. Since that prom night, people decided to share their opinion on what happened to her. So they went to the Richmond Homeschool prom page on Facebook and shared their opinion. Moreover, they shared their disapproval. The school had to say one thing to defend itself. Although Claire's dress meets their requirements, it was constantly going up while she was dancing. However, she missed saying that dads watched Claire that night. One of the students reported that they saw Claire grinding, but still believes that the issue could be handled better by both parties. It turned out that students are not happy with how things are being handled within schools nowadays. Emma Stein was a freshman at Evanston Township High School when she was cited for violating school's dress code. She was told that her dress was too short. She was forced to wear sweatpants for the rest of the day. At that moment, she knew the ancient rules must change. In 2016, numerous protests were held against strict dress code policies. One school even updated their dress code policy. The principal of Evanston Township High School said, We need to look at getting a new dress code and we wanted to make sure it was body positive and didn't marginalize students. Moreover, students love that they've been heard and they loved that they were the change. Many schools still have the outdated dress code policy, but it seems that the change is happening. Slow, but it's happening. More school administrators are taking the time to research alternatives. After all, the focus should be on young people getting the right education and focusing on that, rather than on what to wear.